Hey guys, so we have here our window AC unit and in this video we want to explain to you how these air conditioners exactly work and we're also going to show you what the most common problems with these are and how we can fix them. So let us start right away. Air conditioners consist of two air cycles. There's the room air cycle and there's the hot air cycle. Now as the name suggests, the room air cycle is the one that is facing your room or your living space. And here we're looking at five different components that make up this room air cycle. So right in front of the unit we have the air intake and right behind there is the air filter. The filter makes sure that there's no dust clogging the evaporator which lies right behind the air filter. The evaporator is one of the most important components of our system because this is actually the point where our air cools down. The temperature of the evaporator is actually below the dew point, which means that it does remove moisture from the air, which slowly trickles down the evaporator coils and eventually collects as water on the bottom and then flows towards the outside. Right behind the evaporator we find the blower, which makes sure that the air moves quickly through our system. And then the last component is the air duct, which pushes the cool air out of the air conditioner back into our room. This was it for the room air cycle, so now let's have a look at the hot air cycle. This air cycle is a lot simpler and takes place on the outside. And in order to have a better look at this, we're going to take the cover off our air conditioner. The hot air cycle mostly consists of two components. For one we have here the fan, and right behind there is the very hot condenser. So what happens is that the fan pushes the already warm outside air through the much hotter condenser, which then lowers the temperature of the condenser. Now do you remember a minute ago when we talked about the water being collected by the room air cycle? In older air conditioning units, this water would just be discarded through a small drain hole at the bottom of the unit. But newer air conditioners actually collect this water. And with the help of the fan, they're spraying this water against the condenser, where the water then helps to lower the temperature way more efficiently. Okay, so by now we talked about the room air cycle, which cools down the inside air, and we talked about the hot air cycle, which heats up the outside air. But how do these two systems actually work together? And that is accomplished by the coolant system, which is powered by the compressor, and this is also located at the outside portion of our air conditioning unit. Now our cooling system is completely filled with a refrigerant, and this refrigerant flows into our compressor, which, as the name suggests, compresses our refrigerant. Now compressing the refrigerant means that it is also heating up, and it's actually heating up quite a lot. And that's why the hot refrigerant now flows into the condenser, where the hot air cycle helps to cool down this hot refrigerant. After the refrigerant cooled down, it is still highly compressed, and at this point it now flows towards the room air cycle. And at the beginning of this, the refrigerant flows through an expansion valve. So at this point the refrigerant can now expand, and what happens is exactly the opposite to what happened at the compressor. So at the compressor the refrigerant got really hot, but now that the refrigerant can now expand, it doesn't get very hot, but it gets very very cold. And since the cold refrigerant is now flowing through the evaporator, the evaporator also gets very cold. And since the blower is sucking our warm room air right through the evaporator, this now lowers the temperature in our room. Now as the refrigerant exits the evaporator, it flows back right to the compressor where the cooling cycle starts over. Okay, so now we know exactly how an air conditioning unit works. So now let's talk about the most common issues that people run into with these units. Problem number one is most common with older air conditioners and that is that there is water dripping out of the air conditioner into our room. And this is usually caused by either a clogged drainage hole at the outside of the unit or a blocked passage from the evaporator to the outside. Then the second most common issue is a poor performing air conditioner. This is usually caused by dust and dirt clogging either the evaporator and or the condenser. Now we can prevent the evaporator to become dirty by frequently cleaning the air filter. But eventually the evaporator or the condenser do become dirty and we have to clean them. And we can simply do this with some soapy water and a soft brush. When doing this we do want to be careful though not to bend those little fragile fins because it is essential that those fins are nice and straight for a proper heat exchange. 
Now in case you do have a lot of bent fins, then I would suggest that you try to straighten them out as good as you can. Also when you do decide to wash your condenser or evaporator with water, make sure to avoid water getting into the motor as well as the electronics at the front of the air conditioner. Now the last problem that we want to talk about here is that the air conditioner does not cool anymore at all. This is often caused by rust that you find around the cooling system. At this location at the bottom of the condenser for example we do find a little bit of rust buildup. As this gets worse over time, eventually the entire cooling system will leak and the refrigerant will escape into the atmosphere. And without any more refrigerant, the air conditioner is just not going to work at all anymore. And unfortunately, usually this kind of damage is not worth repairing and we would have to purchase a new air conditioner. Okay, so this was already it for this video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.